Hello everybody. Cool Model 49 coming in at you from Dave's Model Bend. And I'm here this morning to do a model update. Our, what do you want to call it? A model review. Um, this is one that I ordered off of eBay. And uh, got it for a good price. So, um, I'm going to do the review and then uh, you all let me know how you uh, how you feel about it. Give me some comments. Alright, here we go. This is the one. So the first thing we want to do is cut the wrapping off. I have not opened this one yet. Okay, I'm going to bring you around here. And somehow, let's see. Okay, just hold on tight. I gotta do something here. Just do something here. Let's open this puppy up. Okay, this is a uh, 2005 Cadillac Escalade EXT. Uh, it's 125 scale, scale level 2, and over 125 parts. It's got a 295 horsepower, 5.3 liter V8 with multi point injection fuel system. Uh, And uh, yeah, so let's see what it looks like. Wow, mm. not an easy one to open, that's for sure. Not an easy one to open. Oh man, come on now. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby. Ooh, man, that's tight. Wow. Mm, okay. Okay, so here we have everything is wrapped up. Really nice. <coughs> Got the body. Let's go ahead and open that. Okay. There's the body. It's got nice detail. It's got a little bit of flash. I'm going to have to we have to do some cleanup work on the body. It's got a pre-cut sunroof, so that's good. I don't have to worry about cutting the sunroof. Here's the interior. The back seat is molded in, as well as the center console, which is which is uh, detailed really nice. The seats have lots of detail. So they can be customized 
really nice. Here's the undercarriage. I'm not sure what that's for. If that's for the spare tire. Well, I guess that's where the spare tire goes. Right here, the spare tire goes on there and it connects. Um, there's the tank over here, the gas tank over here on the side. So it's got good detail on that too. It's got some flashing. I'm going to have to cut some, uh, trim some flashing off there. Here's the wheels. It's got two sets of wheels. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Plus one spare. But it has, it has low profiles. So I can customize the wheels or a regular. I'm more likely going to use those. But here's this, this is the, uh, here's the uh, rims. There's the uh, the custom rims with the low profile that goes with the rope low profile wheels. I'm probably going to use those. Here's the regular one. So I got me a good, nice set of uh, rim, uh, rims and tires here for another model. If I want to use them on another model. These four are the same. This one's a little different because uh, it's got uh, five nuts on it for the. You know, to, this is for the spare. So, and then it's got your chrome. That's got chromed out exhaust, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got chrome engine parts. Okay. Here's the windshield, the back glass, it's all one piece, and your back lights. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Although I don't like, this has full glass all the way around, it's pla full plastic, full win windows all the way around. I don't like that because I don't like having a closed driver window. I like the driver window to be open. So I might cut this area out area out right here for an open window. I might do that. I'll have to see when I get to that point if I can do that pretty easy. Here's the plastic. You got your uh, motor parts, two uh, white tubes, uh, hoses. Uh, the bottle, the water bottle, different stuff like that, parts of the motor, steering wheel, here's the engine right here, here's the uh, console or that goes on top of you know, by your visors, it's got a little glass carrier, glasses carrier, and overhead lights, and there's your, there's the, um, the visors. So it's got some good detail, some extra stuff on it. I thought that, I thought there might be uh, some speakers or something like that, but it doesn't have that, at least that I can see right now. But that's okay. That's all right. Got the, got the brake hubs here with the, the brakes there. Detail pretty nice. You got the, you know, good detail. Calipers. And here's the front seats, which look okay. Got your, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera here. Here's the seats, the front seats. Which I know is kind of hard. I'm not taking all this out of the plastic yet because I'm not ready to work on it. So it's kind of hard to see, but... <coughs> um, here's a dash. It's got a good dash. Lots of detail. Got the hood. The indoor panels. Got the decals, <laughs> which amount to hardly anything. I might, I have, I have a lot of extra decals from other models 
so I might uh, add some on there if I can get some good ones to fit on there I'm not sure got a little book here round two models you can order order some stuff some models and whatnot uh, and here's the instructions Pretty easy instructions. There's the motor. Huh. Interesting. It's got a couple pictures of uh, the final product when it's done. It's got a picture of the, of the motor inside in the motor so I think this should be pretty fun pretty fun kit to work on um, I'm still working on this uh, Still working on this uh, other car, so I'm not going to start on this one for probably a couple of weeks. So, anyways, well, everybody, that's, that's what I got. There ain't no more. Um, I do have a couple more models coming to me in the mail from eBay. Uh, one is a diesel truck, and I have not built a diesel yet, so I'm excited about that. And I got and the other one is a Mustang. So those should be showing up pretty soon. And um, oh, I will say thank you to Dr. Cranky because I got I got my book. I got my Starving book, Starving Stars book, and uh, him and uh, him and Igor both signed it, and I've already already looked at the pictures, the eye candy, and uh, I'm gonna look at them again and again and again and again, and uh, it's a cool book. Thank you, Doctor Cranky. It finally showed up. I actually ordered this quite a while ago, and uh, it didn't. It took a long time to get to me, but um, <clears throat> here it is. And uh, so I got that. I got I got my Doctor Cranky calendar up right where I can see it when I build my models. And you can't see it from here, but my truck is outside and on the back window I have Dr. Cranky's uh, bumper sticker on the back window of my truck so everywhere I go everybody sees Dr. Cranky and uh, thinks to themselves hey maybe I should do that maybe I should get into model building that looks like fun so anyway all right that's all I got Everybody have a good uh, good day and talk to you later. Bye bye.